Hi, my name is Andrew Hughes, and I'm the founder of Steadfast Innovation. On March 28th, we released Papyrus, a note-taking app for Android tablets running Honeycomb and Up. Now, I would like to announce that we have support for the Samsung Galaxy Note. Let's take a look. So here we have the Papyrus home screen. On the left, we have starred notes, all notes, unfiled notes, and our list of notebooks that we've already created. On the right, we have shortcuts for a new notebook and new note. Upon creating a new note, the default setting is to use a college ruled page. That's currently the only page type, but in the future we'll be adding more page types like graph paper, wide ruled, etc. In Papyrus, we differentiate between the pen input and the finger input. This means that when I write something, I can do something different with my finger. In this case, I have it set up to erase. What the finger does is something we set up in the app settings, which I'll talk about a little bit later. The other tools we have at our disposal are the selection tool and the eraser tool, which I just showed. If I write something, if I write a few strokes, and then I choose a selection tool, I can select them and move them around. If I want to move them further to the right or bottom off the page, I simply use two fingers to scroll and move it to where I want. In addition, we can copy and paste the strokes that we have selected. And then you just tap out to get out of that mode. If we go to the eraser tool, we can configure the size of the eraser and use the pen to erase. In addition, we can change the size of the pen tool as well as choose a color. At the top, we can be more precise about what type of color we're choosing, or we can use the standard color picker or our recent colors. As you can see, the pen is pressure sensitive, which we take into account in Papyrus while you, when you're writing to give you a more natural feel. You can also undo strokes that you've created and redo them. The undo and redo history is based on a per page basis. So if I go to the next page and I draw things and I hit undo, it doesn't undo what was on the previous page. And then I can still undo and redo here. We can also rotate into landscape mode, which puts the buttons at the top of the page and allows for more room for you to write. You can, re you can name the note by clicking on the note name. And when you're done with your masterpiece, you can share it by exporting it to PDF, either the entire note or just the page you're on. This will allow you to share it on any services you have installed on your device that take PDF, such as Gmail, Dropbox, and Evernote. When you're done with your note, you can hit back. That note that we just created appears in the unfiled notes section. If we want to move it to a notebook, notebook, we simply tap and hold, and we can click move and choose an existing notebook. To create a new notebook, you just click new notebook and give it a name. If we go to the hello world notebook, you'll see the note we just created is at the end. I don't know if you can see the strokes at the bottom there. Um, let's If we go into the app settings, you can choose the single finger touch mode here. You can choose from nothing to eraser tool, which is what I had it set to, pen tool, selection tool, or current tool, which is the tool your the pen is currently using. If you ever you forget the basics of Papyrus, you can view the tutorial on the, in the settings. Also, if you if note is really important, you can star it and view it in the starred note section. And when you're done with the note or you, you no longer want it, you simply click and hold on it and choose delete. To view all your notes, click all notes and you can view them all here. In landscape it shows multiple notes. 
that's the basics of Papyrus. To use the, or using the Samsung S Pen side button while you're in and out does the same things that it does across the entire device. Holding the side button and flicking left does back, and holding it and flicking down goes home. In the future, we hope, with, with Ice Cream Sandwich, that Samsung will allow app developers to access the side button to perform additional functionality within their app. On other devices, in Papyrus, we use the side button to hold it down and use the selection tool, so for quick access to the selection tool without having to change tool types, and also use it to do quick gestures, flicking left and right, undo, redo, and flicking up and down to get the tool picker and color picker pop-ups. We have a bright future plan for Papyrus. We are working on the ability to allow you to sync your notes between your various Android devices. In addition, we're working on an even bigger feature that will allow you to wirelessly broadcast a note to multiple people at the same time. You could use this in a classroom situation where someone is giving a presentation and annotating on a PowerPoint or PDF presentation, while others are receiving that live and taking their own private notes. We hope you check out Papyrus and we would love to hear from you.